Hi everyone, Edit here for 3D Natives and today we are going to take a look at the Sigma D25. This elegant 3D printer was first announced in 2020 and is made by BCN 3D in Barcelona. The Sigma D25 is the modern entryway to BCN 3D's IDEX 3D printer, which allows printing in multi-material, dual-color duplication, or even mirror mode. The manufacturer currently separates all their 3D printers into two distinct categories, the desktop, marked by a D, and the workbench, indicated by a W. The desktop category is focused towards printing standard materials, whereas the workbench printers are made to print more technical materials, mainly thanks to their close enclosure. In terms of the hardware, the printer features high-quality components, such as an aluminium frame, two custom-made E3D V6 hotends, and two custom-made Bontex Bowden extruder. It also features high wind linear rails, it's a Cartesian style 3D printer that uses linear rail for the X and Y axes while the Z axes rise on two steel rods driven by a lead screw. The Sigma D25 is a large printer featuring a build surface of 420 by 300 by 200 mm. It has a build height of 200 mm, making it wider than it is tall, which is an interesting approach as most printers are built the other way around. As the printer comes with an 0.4mm nozzle, it is able to print at 0.1 to 0.3mm layer height. BCN 3D does offer the E3D V6 hotends coupled with different size nozzle to print at more layer heights with more or less details. On the software side of things, the Sigma D25 runs Marlin, a open source 3D printer software used by thousands of machines worldwide. For the slicer, BCN3 developed their own customized version of Cura, called Stratos. Stratos is tailor-made to take advantage of BCN3D's IDEX technology. As for the user interface, the printer features a 5-inch color touchscreen with a custom OS, offering the user an intuitive interface with dedicated menus for printing, preheating, calibration, setup and maintenance. Additionally, thanks to their recent acquisition of Astroprint, BCN 3D now offers a revamped version of their cloud management system, BCN 3D Cloud. As soon as we had completed the printer's setup, we were ready to print. We decided to start printing with the two rolls of PLA that were included with the machine, since we already loaded them in the printer. We first printed a torture test to get an idea of what this machine was actually capable of doing. We use the official protocol to assess the printer with this test. It has got a mark of 24.5 out of 30. The only slight defects we found were a bit of stringing and the tolerances were only validated up to 0.3 mm. After this first PLA test, we did a whole lot more printing with PLA. As you can tell with all of these empty filaments for. During our printing, we realized that the first layer wasn't consistent. We tried leveling the beds a few times to solve the issue, but as this wasn't doing anything, we used a mesh leveling function, which completely eliminated the problem. Thanks to this leveling technique, we now have perfect first layers. Additionally, we used the Sigma D25's large build plate to test our RC car chassis PLA prototypes. To better take advantage of the BCN 3D IDEX technology, which stands for Independent Dual Extruder, we printed a dual color octopus keychain. Thanks to its IDEX technology, the two printer's hotends are capable of moving along the X axis independently while sharing the same Y axis. And our octopus keychain came out very nicely and colorful. The best part is that once we removed it from the build plate, its legs wiggle freely. We also use the IDEX system to print the Mazda MX-5 
which benefited nicely from PVA soluble supports. In combination with PLA, PVA allows us to print water soluble supports, which means that once our printing was finished, we dumped the model in some lukewarm water and the supports dissolved on their own. We also use a duplication mode allowed by the IDEX system to print two pen holders and two smartphone stands. Once we were done with PLA, we installed a roll of PETG in the printer and got on printing. We started out with printing a torture toaster to judge the PETG printing performances of the Sigma D25. The first thing we noticed while printing PETG is how much time the print bed took to heat up. We had already seen that it was quite long when printing PLA, but it was worse when trying to reach the higher temperatures needed to print PETG. After the printer was done printing, the toaster's side panels and gears moved freely, and the toast popped out of the toaster when we pushed the lever. Once again, the tolerances were validated up to 0.3 mm and the overhangs were nicely printed up to 70 degrees. We experimented a lot with the BCN 3D Sigma D25. And after a whole lot of printing, we are happy to witness the printer's reliability. It still prints as easily as it first did. And we can start prints without being concerned about them failing. The printer handles PLA and BTG like a charm and it does allow you to use soluble materials. So, do keep in mind that they will be getting moist because of the open frame design. All in all, we think that the BCN 3D Sigma D25 is a great 3D printer for anyone looking to print a lot of large prototypes, as it has a large build surface, and it is designed to handle inexpensive prototyping materials. Its reliability ensures the user won't have to deal with complicated tweaking and calibration. The BCN 3D team also ensures their machines are always up to date, as during our testing we received regular printer firmware updates as well as slice updates. At a cost of 3,495 euros, the Sigma D25 seems like an interesting entryway into BCN 3D's iDEX technology. For anyone looking into printing more technical materials, we would recommend looking into the other category of printers sold by BCN 3D, the Epsilon Workbench series. On future BCN 3D machines, we would like to see a better nozzle cleaning system for the right hot end. The one currently installed doesn't leave enough space for the hot end to park, as the nozzle often gets stuck in the rubber pad. All things considered, we gave the BCN 3D Sigma D25 an overall score of 9 out of 10. If you want to learn more on how we got to this car, check out our written article on 3D Natives by clicking here. Thanks for watching our review of the BCN 3D Sigma D25. If you want to see more tests, click here and see you soon in our next review on the 3D Natives Lab.